Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, 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 no. Don't ground loop. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to Scum. It's a nice, quiet morning here. Uh, last video's adventures took up most of the day. And then I ended up driving back up to my base. And spent the night there working on some stuff, crafting toolboxes, just kind of general maintenance and whatnot. And then about halfway through the night, I started running. No, actually before that, sorry. Let me back up. Uh, I ran over here and I got the bike. I brought the bike back to the base. Uh, and then I spent quite a bit of time. I ran all the way over here. All the way back over here to where I left the airplane. And the airplane wasn't there. <laughs> so I did some looking around. Uh, I maintained backups all the time when I'm making a series. And uh, sure enough, I looked in the database and the plane wasn't there. It had been set. It actually had respawned. You know, a similar one had respawned in one of the hangars over there. A different hangar from where I initially found it. So I went back through my backups. Uh, the last time I used the plane, I think it was back in episode 15. Uh, and it was there. So what I think happened is the float plane update came out. And that wiped airplanes off the map. I don't remember if that was in the patch notes. But I think that's what wiped it. Uh... But I'm a senior IT engineer, so I'm comfortable playing around with databases and stuff, XML and all that good garbage. So what I did is uh, I ended up spawning in a plane, and then I massaged the database a little bit to get my stuff back in here. So there's all my stuff. So it's a new airplane, uh, but it's got my stuff in it. And yeah, so that's that. Update wiped it out, but I brought it back. So that's where we're at. I think you're all caught up. We're doing good on calories and water both. I just took drank some water because I'm going to be flying around. But in today's episode, uh, we're going to go down and check out this A4 field, see what's down there, what that looks like, see if there's any fuel there maybe. Um, and then I need to get some fish hooks. When I was down at this trader, I forgot to buy fish hooks uh, and I ran out of fish hooks. I only had one left. And a fishy broke my line. Hooked onto some kind of monster in the pond there by the base. And it before I could figure out what the heck was going on, it had snapped my line. So I'm out of hooks. And I thought I had hooks in here, but I have floats. Um, I think I have a hook. I have a hook on the rod. Let me just double check that. Lots of climbing in and out of the airplane. We'll get going here in a second. Put down, yeah, I do have a hook on here and, and some meat bait, so that's that's all good to go. So we'll keep that in the plane. So let's get to flying. Let's see if I can remember how to fly this thing. It's been a little while. Taking off towards the power lines is probably not a good idea. Luckily, we've got a lot of lift, so it takes off pretty easy. Now, I do have DLSS turned on, so you might see a little artifacting here and there, but it looks so good and the performance is so great, I'm willing to put up with a little bit of artifacting. Been slightly chilly. I did have my coat and hat on. Try putting the gloves on too. They're bringing that back a notch. So A4 is way over towards the end over there. I assume a lower throttle setting would mean less fuel burn. And this thing is loud. I will try to remember to turn that down and edit. Let's see if we can spot this from the air. Uh, the render range isn't huge, which helps with performance. Uh, but it's good enough. You can see the little blocks of detail spawn in as we fly along. It's a common technique to 
increased performance. If you had to draw in the whole map, that you can see at, you know, close level of detail, it would not be good. So, we got a little town. That's the coastal town. Then we got the next town over. Oh yeah, there's that quarry. Forgot that was even there. That's the quarry that's... That's the south quarry, right? Yeah, there's the north quarry over there. Alright, let's not bleed off too much speed. Alright, there's that second little town. So then the airfield... Should be up here on our left a little bit. It looks like it's maybe a dirt strip. Yeah, there it is. It's got some buildings. Take a slow pass, get a feel for it. It's like it does have two runways. It's got an angle. Okay, I remember this area. It's got the church on the hill. So they stuck an airfield over here, and that's cool. So we got a building. Yeah, I see a fuel trailer there. Cool. That's another place to refuel. So I don't think I need to land there, but now we know there's fuel available. I'm going to take a swing around the naval yard here. And look for boats. That's cool. You can see that shipwreck under the water. See if there might be a Zodiac or something spawned down here. Uh, I'm a little concerned, though. Will the mechs shoot at me? I don't know what their range is. Be shot out of the sky. That'd be a heck of a way to end the series. I might not be close enough to see the boat spawns. Since my awareness is pretty low. Yeah, I don't see any boats. I want to get some uh, fish hooks, though. So I'm thinking about going to this trader here. We'll get that field. I think it's maybe easier to land in the field than it is on the runway up at the, the snow trader, C2. Take a little peek over here. So we got the two islands and the traders right there. I almost replaced this with the seaplane variant when I replaced it, but I decided, nah, we should try to find that organically if we're going to find it. Or if I can land, I think I can land in this direction. But we have no wind socks, so I'm not sure what the wind's doing. If the waves are any indication, it's coming out of the north. I want to leave the map. I don't remember what stall speed is on this thing. Oh, don't crash, don't crash. Look the crosswind. Okay, we'll take it. I'm gonna start rolling backwards.
So we can get up here kind of on a little bit of a slope and park. It seems like maybe they improved the plane brakes. I'm not sure. They used to be really bad. I think if we get out of here, it'll stay put. I'm hoping. Yeah, it's going to stay put. All right. Good deal. Found some boots. Threw those in there. Um, I couldn't repair these. I'm not sure how to, how to repair them. Take some layers off here. Uh, I don't have a cool hat. Should help me stay cool. All right, I'm gonna run down to the trader, uh, get some fish hooks, and then I'll bring you back in. You know me, I just, I just can't resist the looting. <laughs> hey, 75 bucks. I'm gonna head over to the uh, fisherman. They said they fixed some animations or something. For the fisherman. I I didn't notice anything missing the couple times I've interacted with him. We'll see uh see what's new. Ahoy there. Like I remember him talking. Did that Raven move? <laughs> Not sure. That's cool, he's got all his goods out here. Alright, I would like to buy No. Tools? Fishing? There we go. I need, um... We have a double fish hook. Is that the only fish hooks? I forget. No, we got a medium hook pack. Oh, I forget which is which. I know I had some medium hooks. While I'm here, I'm going to spend some money. I'm going to get two of those. And then should I go ahead and get some line? Trade food keeps the um, trade keeps the world going. Something like that. <laughs> we'll get some thick line. We got the small fish hook. Those are seven. I'm trying to go on price. I'm like, I want something for some big fish. 723. 744. I'm not sure. D. B. C. And then the small. Okay, so the, keeps the water bigger the number. All right, so I want some big, some big hooks. I think that's going to be right. Let's see how that works out. We got mostly medium hooks because we'll be using a lot of those. And I've got fishing line. All right, let's do it. Twenty-seven hundred bucks, but you know, I like fishing, so it'll save me a trip into the town and getting killed. That's how I died my last one life series. Oh, I missed a bow shot and it was all over. Some of you probably saw that series. I think that was season three when I did that. Went into the big city. Died like an idiot. I get lucky again. No, not really. Oh, some of you may have noticed I made a sword. And uh, it's 87%. I had all 100% stuff except the rubber. The piece of rubber was only 87 so it's a little, little low, but yeah, we might try that out. I know, uh, I think it's Skinny Pete. He likes the sword. You know, if you watch Skinny Pete on YouTube, he does a lot of good scum content. Go check him out. You search for Skinny Pete scum, you should find it. Uh, I think the I think it's Wilksy, but I don't remember it's I don't remember what is YouTube. It's like Wilksy seventy five or something like that is the YouTube channel. But if you search for Skinny Pete Scum, you'll find it. Ooh, is that a tree stand up there? All right, I'm gonna run up to the tree stand, and then we'll get back in the plane, and we'll go on some more adventures. Well, 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 
what have we got here? That looks like repair parts for my gun. <laughs> Ooh, eight metal arrows, too. Yeah, check that out. Can take that apart, and then uh, we'll have repair parts for my main hunter. I like it. Nothing else hiding up here. Those metal arrows will sell, but I'll just uh, hang on to them. I don't want to run back down to the trader again. I've got uh, a bunch of stuff in the SUV again that needs sold, so I'll just add it to the pile. Next time we make a trader run. Um, I never did have any luck hunting, although I did get a couple of... I have any sausages with me? No. I did get a couple seagulls. Uh, I made sausage out of those. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys about the salt. If you're still watching. <laughs> uh, a lot of people tune out after five or ten minutes. Um, the bags of salt sell for like 50 bucks. So I sold a bunch of those. And then I just also discovered, some of you may have already put in the comments, I discovered you can search the salt piles and you get the salt, like crystals. So I got a whole bunch of salt at the base now. Uh, and that's how I made the, uh, I know those aren't the salted. I had some rough, some roughy roof, rough. I'm not sure how you pronounce that fish. But I made some uh, salted fillets. So hopefully those will last quite a while. Um, but when I made the sausages, it didn't use the salt. So I don't know if that's broken or if you have to highlight it and right click to use the salt. I'm not sure how that works. But it did not use the optional salt. And I think I can just take off and fly right over that town. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Might have a little green stuff to clean out of the landing gear. It'll be alright. Don't see a boat there either. I'm gonna check for boat spawns here. I forgot to put my clothes back on, so I'm gonna be freezing. I don't think I've found a single boat yet. Look at my hair blowing in the wind. I need to get a haircut. Don't crash into the ground putting on your clothes. We don't want to end the series that way. I mean, we've got a SUV, we've got a bike, we've got a plane. We kind of need a boat. So I'm going to check up the coast here. See what we can find. Oh, nothing there. Must have a little bit of rudder authority, not a ton. There's some boat spawns on the river, too. It will fly up the river. Nice scenic romp up the river. Not hitting any power lines, hopefully. It's a crashed boat. Gotta get an F-12 of that. Heck yeah. Need to hook my flight yoke up. My rudder pedals. <laughs> the town up here somewhere that's got some boat spawns. I decided against buying a cooking pot. Several of you mentioned that when you eat the stew or whatever, it consumes the cooking pot. So that's kind of dumb. Hopefully that'll get it fixed with the cooking update. 
so I decided that'd be a waste of money buying a cooking pot. Uh, and I wasn't able to buy vitamins, though. I was going to buy some vitamins since I got a decent amount of cash. Yeah, no both there. But I didn't see any vitamins at the trader. And how many times are these power lines going to cross the river? Get close where the mechs will shoot me. I don't see a boat there. Um, I'm not sure where the float plane variant spawns. I haven't seen that pop up. Alright, I think I'm going to head back to base. Um, I think I can land this west of where my base is. And then I'll have all my vehicles at the base and I can go out as needed. Although, it might be worth fueling up down there at that A... Was it A4? Yeah, it might be worth fueling up first. Down at that A4 airfield. Do some aerobatics. Been slightly chilly, indeed. We do a Cubanate. I don't know if we got enough engine power for a Cubanate. Bring it over the top. It's going to be a sloppy one. It's a really sloppy Cubanate. That's sort of a Cubanate. <laughs> Basically fly a figure, figure eight. Kind of two loops connected with rolls. Oh yeah, that's, I was trying to figure out what that was. That's that military base thingy. It's all the barracks. Alright, let's see if we can land at this airfield. We've had good luck so far. The plane not exploding. Let's hope that trend continues. There's the quarries. He goes down past that hill. Being a biplane, it does slow down pretty quick. It's got a lot of drag. I'll see if there's a uh, windsock. I think most of the landing places have a windsock. So we got this hill to contend with. Uh, no power lines, though. It's fairly free of trees. It kind of feels like the wind's coming from that direction. Let's see if we can spot a windsock down here. I'm kind of crabbing into the wind, it feels like, anyway. Yeah, yeah, there's the windsock. Alright, so we should use that, which has power lines on the other side, so we'll have to watch out for that. Alright, we'll see if we can come in on that secondary runway. Being mindful of the power lines. Yeah, you kind of have to drop right over the power lines, don't you? A little finer uh, throttle control. 
would be welcome. Wind is rocking. I don't know if we can make this happen or not. Whew. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. Don't ground loop. Don't ground loop. Woo! That was seconds from disaster. Planes took a bunch of damage. <laughs> Um, how many puppets do we got down here? I want to just go rocking up there and get swarmed. Yeah, that was that was all kinds of not good. I got a little bit of repair, not much. We just almost exploded with that uh, pretty severe crosswind. It's with a keyboard. It's you can't really side slip <laughs> like you're supposed to. I would need actual flight controls. Uh, the flying feels pretty good, though. I mean, considering it's not a flight simulator, it actually felt pretty good. You can see that wind sock sticking straight out. That's a lot of wind. Yeah, we're getting, uh, getting a little warm down here on the ground. Pop some layers off. We have a 0 out of 20 airplane repair kit. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get up to that gas tank. And then get back to base. See puppets yet. Let's search uh, in there for an airplane repair kit. Sure nobody's gonna sneak up behind me. Yeah, that we were we were seconds from disaster there on that land. I got so lucky. Cause it rocked up on a wing like it did when I first exploded. Um, I don't know if they changed the airplane durability any. Or if I just got lucky. I mean, I'm a pretty good pilot. I've flown probably 10,000 hours in flight sims, but using a keyboard, <laughs> not the uh, not the best way to control. All right. Sometimes there's a puppet. Yeah, right back there in the corner. I got nailed it in the head. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to have so much stuff here to sell. Oops, don't get demonetized. Don't look at the calendars. Uh, I want to throw some stuff. I, don't, I know I can get like shoes and all kinds of crap. I really just want a repair kit. Or three, you know. <laughs> I 
There we go. Got a hat. Along here. Come on, repair kit. Oh, we got a pilot hat. I'll take that. I just need a jacket. <laughs> Go full top gun. All right, we got a couple parachutes. No, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Scrap metal. I wonder if any of this is searchable. It doesn't look like it. Uh, I need to look in the office too. Let me go throw this parachute in there. We'll see what I can stuff into the airplane. Just on the off chance. There we go. 20 more rounds for the rifle. This is a good place to stop. Um, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of room though. Fortunately. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. No, yeah, that won't fit in there. Okay, pardon me while I play a little bit of loot Tetris. Why do you keep doing that? Would be a weird game. <laughs> what? Uh, this won't fit crossways, unfortunately. That'll fit down there. Got no room. <laughs> uh, I don't have a toolbox to take that apart. All right, well, let's grab the parachute. All right, let me loot this place. I don't want to spend 15 minutes looting this place while you guys have to watch. Is that a drill? Oh no, it's the, just the middle part. I'll be right back. All right, I did find a 15 out of 20 repair kit. And I found a wheelbarrow too. So I'm gonna actually have some of this loot stay in the wheelbarrow. If I wanna come back and get it and sell it. I can do that at a later date. I couldn't, uh, couldn't stuff everything in the airplane. It just doesn't have that much room. We'll throw another 15 points into that. Now this time I didn't get a an empty repair box. I'm not sure what's up with that. Weird. Well, I'll throw it in there. Whatever. That in there. We got the spare parachute. That in there. All right, we're stuffed. Let's head back to base. Wait, before I do that, let me take one last look around. All right, didn't find much. Let's get out of here. Uh, the wind has calmed down, though. Well, there's a hunting stand over there. I didn't even see that. Definitely should check that out. We'll, we'll get back to base and end this episode eventually, I swear.
Got so much crap. We waddle over to this hunting stand. <laughs> I'm a loot goblin. Confirmed. You should see all the scrap metal I gathered up on that big driving loot run I went on with the uh, trader and the salt and stuff. Got tons of scrap metal. Oh, we got some sunglasses. Worth. They go under my goggles. <laughs> All right, we'll probably sell those. I know you're hot, but you're going to be cold when I get up in the sky again. Just chill out. Couple of these get some water coming through our system. All right, back to base we go. Hopefully, for a smooth landing. bit of stutter here and there but overall it's a good flying experience I kind of wish when you turn the HUD off it would turn that thing off too go full immersion so basically northeast to here do I even have a compass in this thing oh yeah I do all right cool Bit of a bug there. Uh, a little more east. Trying to go all immersive here, scum. We turn the map on, it turns the bottom bar back on. It's hard to see out of the biplane. Oh, there we are. There's home, home sweet home. I'm not brave enough to try to land in first person. <laughs> not given how lightweight these airplanes are. But I thought maybe I could land to the west here. Let's let's give it an approach and see how it goes. It always looks good from the ground. And you get up here and you're like, yeah, it's not gonna work. I don't want to end up in the pond. Bunch of power lines. It's not nearly as long of a landing spot as it looked like from the ground. Oh, we made it. Woo! That was, that was some clinching going on there. I might have to dig some seat cushion out of the old butthole. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bush flying there. Holy crap. Wouldn't be that big of a deal, except the planes are so delicate. It's ridiculous. I, I should have come in a little faster, though. That was pretty slow.
So we pull it in right under this tree here. Good spot for it. So if it'll get covered in bird droppings. All right. Nope, brakes. F12 and get out. Okay, we made it back home with a ton of stuff. So I got my work cut out for me. Gotta get that all unloaded, um, stuff fixed. I don't remember what kind of shape my hunter's in. I think it's in pretty good shape. But I can break that down into some repair parts. Get all this stuff sorted out. And next episode, the adventure will continue. Well, thanks as always for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.